in this question number 77 we have to see the option which represents pigment containing structure so let's look into the first option that is the basal bodies now basal bodies they are structures which form flagella yes from the basal body flagella formation occurs now if we talk about the nematophores nematophores they are respiratory roots which are present in the mangrove plants they are aerophores now coming to the heterocysts this is a structure which is present in the cyanobacteria but the structure it is involved in the nitrogen fixation so the only option which is left here is chromatophore yes chromatophore they are membranous structures which contain photosynthetic pigments and by absorbing the light energies these pigments they convert it into the chemical energy which can be further utilized for synthesis of food yes so these are the structure which possess the pigments it means for the question number 77 the right answer is 3 now let's move on to the next question here In this question number 78, we have to see when Kyoto Protocol was endorsed. Yes. So, here first of all, we have to understand what is COP. COP that represent Conference of the Parties. Yes, Conference of the Parties. And it is the third Conference of the Parties held in Kyoto in 1997 when this protocol was created. So, it was which meeting that was the third one. So, it means the right answer for this question number is this COP3, right? So, it is third conference of the parties held in Kyoto when this protocol was created. So, it means for this question number, the right option is 4. So, now let's look into the next question here. Let's discuss question number 79. Select the answer which correctly matches the endocrine gland which is given in the first column with the hormone it secretes that is in the second column and its function or a deficiency symptom given in the third column. Now the first option posterior pituitary hormone given is growth hormone so that itself is incorrect because growth hormone is secreted from the anterior pituitary. Second choice thyroid gland secretes thyroxine lack of iodine in the diet results in goiter this is correct because thyroxine is a iodinated hormone and it requires iodine from the diet for its synthesis the third choice corpus luteum this is formed in the ovary and it never secretes testosterone so this is incorrect and fourth anterior pituitary oxytocin given which again is incorrect because oxytocin is secreted from the hypothalamus and released from the posterior pituitary so the only correct choice is second one so hence our answer is option two now let's discuss the next question that is question 80 In this question number 80, we have to see, we have to find which is the first stable product of nitrogen fixation in the leguminous plant. So, now let's see what are the reactions which are involved in the nitrogen fixation. Now, in the nitrogen fixation or we can say during the nitrogen fixation, reduction occurs. There is addition of electron, there is addition of the hydrogen ion. Due to the reduction, this nitrogen, it is converted into the diamide. Now, this diamide further, it undergoes reduction, results in the formation of hydrogen. 
hydrazine further undergoes reduction and results in the formation of the two molecules of ammonia. So, it means through the nitrogen fixation the stable product which is formed first stable product that is ammonia. It means for this question number 80 right answer is 1. Fine. Now, let us see what is the scenario in the question number 81. In the 81 question number, we have to see which is the natural reservoir of phosphorus. Now, phosphorus is an element which shows sedimentary cycling and in the case of the sedimentary cycles, reservoir is a lithosphere. Reservoir is a lithosphere or you can say the reservoir is rock. So, it means for this question right answer is 2. Right. So, now let us move on to the next question. Let us discuss question number 82. What external changes are visible after the last mold of a cockroach nymph? Now, cockroach nymph undergoes 13 moltings and this nymph is exactly like the adult except for the absence of gonads and the wings. Now, externally we can see only the wings developing. So, out of these options we can see anal sursi develop, both fore wings and hind wings develop. This is the correct choice and the rest of them labium develops so they have the same type of mouth parts as the adult so this is incorrect and mandibles become harder that is also incorrect only the correct answer is option number two now we move on to the next question that is question number 83 now in this question what is the correct sequence of sperm formation now during the sperm formation the sequence is starting from the spermatogonia which differentiate to form spermatocyte. Initially it is primary spermatocyte which undergoes meiosis 1 to form secondary spermatocyte then meiosis 2 to lead to the formation of spermatid and finally the differentiation of a spermatid into spermatozoa or the sperms. Now let us see the sequence in which of the option it is. So it is spermatogonia, spermatocyte then spermatozoa is written before spermatid, so incorrect. Next one, spermatogonia, spermatozoa, spermatocyte, spermatid, this is again incorrect. Third one, spermatogonia, spermatocyte, spermatid and spermatozoa, this is the correct sequence and thus our answer is option 3. So, let us move on to the next question that is 84.